Oof. It's sunny. Hello. Hello. How are you? I think that most of you people on the uh, east coast of the United States are watching your fireworks right now. Happy, happy Independence Day. Those of you on the west coast are probably in the midst of barbecues. But I have a few... Hi, neighbors. I'm waving to my people. Yes, people, I do walk around my town like this. Yes, I do. Because it's what I do. Hi, Dana. <sighs> I'm out for a little walk. Wait, wrong street. It's not a through street. <laughs> I would end up looping around. This is my neighborhood. Isn't it cute? Hi, guys. Oh, it's bedtime. Well, you know, I almost didn't make this video because, well, this live, because I realized um, it is 4th of July here in America. People are busy. I'm not busy. I love that I'm not busy. Sorry about the sun. Well, it doesn't bother you. It's bothering me. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I am enjoying my time right now because, as I mentioned, we have our little fireworks display on the third here in my little tiny town because they're cheap they're expensive on the fourth so we did our extravaganza our barbecue everything last night so today was just lovely i um my husband and i bought a bed we bought a bed we bought a bed i'm very excited it takes two weeks for that sucker to come in i'm gonna go this way maybe it's a little shady or not so bright and um Anyway, I came home, made dinner, we ate dinner outside because it's lovely weather, but I did bring a sweater because I am in Southern California, but we are semi-coastal, semi, I mean, as a crow flies, like 12, 15 miles, so we get, we get cool breezes, so, but I decided to go for a walk after dinner, and I started thinking about Independence Day. And because I saw somebody post something, and I've seen this, I've seen this a few times uh, recently, where leaders were frustrated, or, or presenters themselves were frustrated because they just felt like their business um, wasn't where they wanted it to be. Uh, they were getting frustrated with the speed in which they were growing. Well, hello. But yeah, they were getting frustrated with the speed in which they were growing. <sighs> and this last one that I read right before I left the house, I'll be quite honest. It's kind of stuck in my craw. I got a little pissed off. I did. I got a little pissed off. Because I thought to myself, self? Um, <sighs> do people really expect that within, I mean, the company's only been around for three years, right? Most of us have not even been around for that amount of time. Well, the company's been around three and a half years. Yeah, most people have been around less than two, some only a year. And I'm thinking, are there really people out there who expect to have complete financial independence after working a job? Most of them working at part time for one to two years. Because if that's the case, I'm afraid that we have a very large crack problem in the United States of America. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're smoking crack. Smoking crack. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Sherry, you did it. Um, no I didn't. No I didn't. No. Sherry worked her ass off for a really long time. Like 25 years. 25 years flipping years before I found Unique. 43 years old. Are you 43 years old? Have you been working for 25 years at this? No, you haven't. I don't think so. Have you? I don't think so. Not most of you. So here's what I'm saying. It's because I love you that I have to be honest with you. Um, cause, hold on, we gotta cross the street. This is not as much fun as walking in London, I gotta be honest with you. No, but, you all just saw when it hit for me. You saw when it all came together. You didn't see the 15 BS jobs that I had. You didn't see all the years. There's a man over there. 
you didn't see all the years that I posted this somewhere else too today. Somebody was commenting about, um, oh, it was Simon Cowell. There's a video going around about Simon Cowell and how 15 years ago he was poor, had no money, none, like seven bucks to his name. And he used it on cab fare to get to his mom and dad's house because he was moving back in with them. He lost his house, lost his cars. And I commented and I said, you know, when I, I decided to go away to college, my parents couldn't afford to pay for, pay for it. So I decided I was going to do it on my own. I happened to live in the Kiwi capital of California. That's where I went to school. I ate, you could get 10 Kiwis. They're big too. 10 Kiwis for a dollar. I lived on Kiwi and top ramen noodles. Those are those noodles that you literally can buy 10 packages for a dollar. Yeah, that's not a good combination. I'll be honest, kiwi and top ramen. But I have kiwi for breakfast, kiwi for snack, top ramen for lunch and dinner. No joke. Yes, I lost a lot of weight. I don't recommend that diet. I really don't. There have been times I thought, hmm, maybe I could go back to that. But no, it was not fun. Best learning experience of my life. I wouldn't trade it for anything. But what I'm saying is, 25 flipping years of honing my skill, of falling on my face, and I like the way Oprah puts it. I don't look at it as failure. I either, and who, somebody else said this too. Who was it? Somebody else famous said, <laughs> I don't fail, I either win or I learn. <laughs> I like putting it that way. I either win, <gasps> there's a lot of bees. I either win or I learn. So I learned a lot. I learned a lot. And anybody who has known me over the years, jack of all trades, that was me, jack of all trades. I'm in sales. I'm a massage therapist. I'm a store manager. I worked in outside sales for liquor. All of these, I never had a job longer than two years except for my massage therapy job. And that's because I was my own boss. But if somebody would have told me, hey, Sherry, guess what? You can stay at home, never leave your couch, and you could earn a hundred bucks a month. <sighs> you kidding me? I am all over that like white on rice. I'm not kidding. All over that. Because I remember seeing infomercials in the middle of the night. Work from home, make money, and I'm thinking, God, if I could just make 50 bucks, that would be amazing. And I'd write it down, I'd write down that 800 number, I'd call that 800 number, and it was always BS, always. Just a crock. None of it was real. And when Unique came along, I had no idea what was possible. But I had spent all of those years honing my skills. And so... It makes me angry. It honestly does. It makes me angry when I see people who get depressed. Oh, all my business isn't growing and all of that. And I'm thinking, okay, number one, how hard are you working? How hard are you working? Because see, take those 25 years that I learned how to sell. I learned how to talk to people and I learned how to manage people. I learned how to manage myself. I learned how to manage time. It is not easy being self-employed. You have got to be a self-starter. You have got to be the one that kicks your own ass to get up out of bed every day and do what needs to be done because there's no boss sitting there. There's no time clock to punch. So that's why most people can't be self-employed because they need someone on the other end basically threatening them <laughs> to lose their job. And I'll tell you something else. When I first became self-employed, it was very scary for me because I left a corporate job with a 401k plan and all that and insurance, you know, health benefits. Okay, I'm not in my neighborhood anymore. I just want you to know that right now. So if we get lost, it's all your fault. Let's go back. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I am because I just walk and I'm talking to you. I'm not even paying attention. I'm like, oh, I could get hijacked or something. <sighs> what are we talking about? Okay. So. But when, when I became self-employed, it was very scary leaving all of that, what I thought was security. But then I realized, you know what? That's not really security. Security is what I have now. It's what I had then when I started working for myself. And I started, um, I became a massage therapist and I started my own massage therapy business. Cause I can't be fired. I'm not gonna fire me. 
I like me. I'm my best employee. I'm not firing myself. And I don't have to depend on anybody else. I can work as hard as I want to work and then I reap the benefits. I don't have to worry about working really hard and having to drag somebody behind me, right? How many of you have had those jobs where you did all the work but you had to share the glory? Oh, heck no. If I'm doing the work, I don't get the glory. I don't mind helping other people to help themselves. Oh, I think I know this guy. Hold on. Hold on. I have to have a chat. Maybe I don't. Oh, look over there. Look this way. Shh. Don't talk. Don't talk to him. Do I know him? Okay, we have to hold on a minute. It's a small town. It's a jack of all trades. Hey! Jack of all trades. Shut up. She's totally the jack of all trades. How do you know that? Where'd you come from? I what are you just, doing? I was just sitting at home watching Facebook. You're the jack of all trades. This is Sherry. She's the jack of all trades. Have you been drinking? <laughs> what is wrong? Do you have a party? Let's go. Let me come with you. Where are we going? Oh, drinks. oh my god. Watching. Did you seriously Watching just come to find me? I was like, hey honey. I gotta go <laughs> intercept Sherry. Oh my god. She's the jack of all trades. I am. <laughs> I'm giving a lecture right now. I know. Yeah. So are you listening? I'm glad you're listening in. Thank I god am. somebody's listening. <laughs> seriously. He's crazy. You're crazy. Because it's why I was like, oh, I'm all, I think I know him. Wait, hold on, hold on. Lucky for you, I turned around. You could have had a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the funniest thing ever. That is crazy. Good times. See, I love these people. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Don't be surprised if I come knocking on your door looking for a beverage. You're so, you are so funny. Seriously, how many blocks is that? He lives four blocks away. He's like, I think I know where she is. Oh, this is the craziest Facebook Live ever. That is hilarious. Okay. All right. I'm going to find my track again. I am going to find my train. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I Really? Well, seriously, Will, you just, you just, you just, there it all went. But listen. I'm not going to fire myself. This is the most secure you could ever be in a job is knowing you have yourself to rely on. But here's the thing. You have to switch your thinking from being an employee because we've all been employees most of our lives. Most of us haven't been self-employed. You have to think as a business owner, number one. You can't expect that just because you've put time in with a company with a business that you can just sit back and all of a sudden your business is going to grow automatically just by the fact that you just are there. You have to actually do things. And I'll be very honest with you. I've said this before. I've been in sales my whole life in some form or another, even when I was a massage therapist. See, I got into massage therapy because I didn't want to sell anymore. <laughs> Duh. I had to sell myself. Because if I didn't sell myself, I wouldn't have any customers, right? So that kind of backfired a little bit. No, but I really loved what I did. So, um, but I had to hustle. I had to hustle, hustle, hustle. And I knew when I started with Unique, I didn't want to be in sales anymore, okay? But I loved this product, and I knew that just by sharing my love of it, I would end up selling. Because I just knew that. I knew that I could, but I also knew that I didn't want to be selling as my main deal forever. So you know what I did? I hit it hard. I hit it hard. And I sold. I did as many online parties. Okay, I think I know these people too. I did as many online parties as I could at one time because the more online parties. Oh, and let me just tell you right now. If you are doing an online party and you are the hostess, it doesn't count. Did you know that? I thought everybody knew that. I'm finding out with this new promotion the company is doing this month, people didn't know that. You can't be your own hostess because you know all of the people that you know. You need to learn, you need to find people you don't know. So that means you have to have outside hostesses. Okay, we're crossing the street. You have to have outside hostesses 
that have friends that you don't know. You have to expand your circles. And I know why you're hosting your own parties. It's because you're scared. I know. We all know. It's no secret. Cat's out of the bag. You're afraid to meet new people. We know that. Don't think you're hiding. And don't start giving us all the excuses. I can't find anybody. I da 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 da. It's tired and it's an excuse. And while you can't find anybody, there are people out there who are doing it. You can do it. You don't want to do it. And that's okay too. But you need to be honest with yourself. But see, I did as many parties as I could and I worked hard. Um, 15 months without a day off working 10 to 16 hours a day. And that is no joke. No joke. I would have still kept going, except my husband was like, um, no. Tired of staring at the back of your laptop. And I said, okay, I'll get a different colored case maybe that you would enjoy. No. He didn't think that was funny. I thought that was kind of funny. I thought that was a little bit witty, but no, he didn't think so. So I'm still laughing about Will. Oh my God. So, um, yeah. So I worked really hard so that I could build a team. So then I didn't have to worry about selling as much. I still sell, of course, but it's not my focus anymore. Now, when I tell you that, I don't want people to think, oh, oh, okay, well, I've been doing this for a year. Or I've been doing this for two years, so I don't have to sell anymore. You know what? My recommendation is to you, unless you're black status one, yeah, you still got to sell. You still have to sell. If you want your business to grow, oh, he's putting tires on his car. I don't want to interrupt him. See? Okay. But unless you're, I mean, or unless, put it this way, you don't have to be black status one. Unless you're at the level where you're happy to stop. Um, if you're at the level where you're happy to stop and you're content with where you are, hey, you don't have to do online parties anymore. But if you want to grow, that's the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. As leaders, we get asked the same questions over and over and over. And it's kind of funny too, because I'll have people in my downline who will go to another leader in a different downline, you know, outside of our team and message them and say, I really need help. My upline's not helping me. Can you give me any advice? And then they message me and say, Hey, Sherry, your girl's coming to me saying that she needs help. And I'm like, I'm chatting with that girl all the time. I've given her everything I know. So then I message and say, hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just, see, and I'll tell you what it is because the reverse happens too. I'll message a leader and say, hey, guess what? Your girl's reaching out to me since she doesn't have any support. And they're like, oh, you know, I've been talking with her. She has tons of support. But what it is, it's kind of the game of like when mommy and daddy get divorced and then the kid goes, the kid wants ice cream or something, or he wants something and goes to the one and then mommy says no. So then he goes to daddy. They know what they need to do. They're just hoping that another leader will give them a different answer that's easier. And all of our answers are the same because it really is very simple what we do, but you just have to actually do the things. You have to do the things. So. Anyway, I just needed to speak to you guys about the whole, you know, the Independence Day and all of that, you know, made me think about financial independence. And then I saw that post and I thought, you know something? No, no, no. <laughs> that, that irks me that somebody would get frustrated because this opportunity has not only changed my life, it's changed my family's life for generations, generation after generation. It's that, like, it's my kids, my grandkids, my great grand, like it, it, it will never, it will never be the same. This is not the lottery. It may look like the lottery to somebody on the outside. This is not the lottery. No, I have clawed my way here. And I have worked even when I didn't want to. Um, I love what I do. This job was made for me. 
but that doesn't mean that there aren't times when I am tired and I don't feel like it and I don't have a lot of energy. And in those moments, you know what? I do it anyway. I do it anyway. If it needs to be done, I do it. You know, I mean, I'm at the point now where I can take a little more time for myself and I'm taking more time for my family. You know, I, I feel like from the time I had kids for those eight years that I was a stay at home mom, still stay at home mom, but before I worked those eight years, my focus was on my kids exclusively. Then my focus was on my business. This year, my focus is on my health. I'm walking, see? My health, eating better, cooking more for my family, cooking more healthy meals, um, and taking more time to fit my work, fit my life into my work and my work into my life, instead of it just being all one way or the other. So that's what I wanted to say to you, because it, it makes me mad with these unrealistic expectations, and it makes me sad, because when you, I've said it before, when you are not grateful for what you have, and for the opportunity that you have, you have just stifled your growth. You have just stopped yourself from growing. Like, you're done. Like, you're done. You have to really, really, really be grateful, and think about this. You work from your phone. Are you kidding me? Seriously. And you have access to so much training, YouTube, your Facebook groups for your team. You don't even need a sponsor in this business anymore. You don't. All you need to know, comp plan, how to do an online party. That's it. If you don't know how to lead, read a book. Because even if you do know how to lead, it, it's a good idea to read a book. Um, and I would ask, if you're struggling in your business... How many, how many books do you read a month? Treat this like you would treat anything. You want to be a nurse? How long is it going to take you to become a nurse? Okay, well, give yourself that amount of time to become a network marketing professional. So, anyway, love you all. And I hope this helped some of you. I hope that it, well, I hope it helped all of you, but I'm going to be realistic. So, <laughs> aim low. Hope it helped some of you. And um, I hope you're having a lovely time with your family. I'm having a lovely walk. And I'm going to go find Will right now and have a little sit down and a little beverage. Oh, we got some more people. And they look friendly. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Hi. Okay. Hello, family. Hello. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to go through and read your... Hi, Mike Patrick. I'm going to go through and read your comments. And um, happy, happy, happy 4th of July, everybody. Bye.